Hey everybody! It's me again, Kale. And we're here once more playing Tales of Hysteria. Last time we left off, we cleansed the land of malevolence once again. Because we're good like that. Also, apparently they prepared another lecture for us today, so let's listen in. We sure have had some fantastic weather lately. On that note, it's time to continue our skill lecture. If you say so. Today's lesson is about bonus skills. Aren't you ecstatic? Uh, Whoa. sure. You can probably enact a couple skills without even thinking too much about it. But from the combination of basic skills you use comes... Wait for it. Bonus skills! Woo! With hullabaloo aside, the way it works is actually super simple. There are only three special rules. There's stack, a bonus that activates when you equip the same skill multiple times. Lumping them together like that will give you a little extra boost. The effectiveness will vary based on how many of the same skill you stacked, but at the end of the day, it produces only one stack bonus. So when you equip four of the same skills, the stack for the second or the third ones don't occur. Next, when you equip all Got five it. skills belonging to the same group, you have a group union. For this one, you'll need to have collected all five skills of a specific column. The bonus skill will further enhance those skills' effects. And lastly, Kay. there are elemental unions, which trigger when you place skills of the same element next to each other, but... Oops, out of time! See you again oh, next time! come on! Seriously? It's just getting good. You guys suck. All right. Um. Let's get some pork risotto for the road. That braised beef and potatoes we just had was delicious and oh so flavorful. It was my first time trying it as well, but it was delicious. Really? It's your first time? Oh wait, right. I thought you always got to eat lavish food like this, Alicia. Like roasted rat pig and fancy schmancy fruits, that sort of stuff? It's not like I eat like royalty <laughs> every day. Although I won't deny I am quite well fed. I I'd would imagine, imagine that eating royalty and all. like this could be so much fun. Happiness truly does lie within the nuances of everyday life, I suppose. Yeah, nothing like eating lots of good food with good friends. Definitely puts a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. A full stomach sure makes you sleepy, though. Let's rest up for tomorrow. Shall we return to our rooms? Yeah, good thinking. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I, I don't have anyone to say good night to. I'm horribly and cripplingly alone. Yeah, let me uh, let me get one more just to make sure that I have all the. I do get another skit. I've always thought awesome. that the name attack was a little strange, but never imagined it was also the name of a skill. So you've noticed, huh? Huh? Was I not supposed to? I'll explain it briefly. Equipment skills come from the boon of the Lord of the Land. In other words, they're a godsend. Fifty primary elements have been found through various arrangements of mana and elements. By combining those fifty elements, additional effects are born. And by infinitely fusing and combining them, Seraphim and humans are created in the same way. Interesting. Yeah, and the purest elements of all combine to make... Norman, right? Uh, no. Gemstones. Used to make jewelry and stuff like that. Hey! Fifty elite humans were gathered to research each of those elements. Namely... The Norman. But then the project gets thrown into crisis by a late newcomer. When are you going to get to the part about the Norman? <laughs> Norman, don't appear until chapter 23. <laughs> now quit rushing me. Huh? Was I not supposed to ask that question? <sighs> wow. Edna, the greatest troll in Tales history. Uh, am I missing anything? Nope, we're good. Okay. Just had to make sure before we headed out. We're on to another chapter. Kinda. That and pork and potatoes has a pretty good effect. So I wanted to make sure it was up. Saray, let us give our respects to Rohan and the others. Good Rose. call. Good thinking. <sighs> Alicia, if you got something to say, say it. 
Nobody likes a pouty potato. There you go. I don't know why I said that. It's probably because I'm really weird. Lady Lila, you're back! You folks done fix this place right up! Fump. Screw you, attack. Little by little, people are coming back to worship the great tree. You can trust I will do my part as well. That's good. We can take our leave in peace. Huh? Aw, no. Y'all are running out on us? Yep. You take care, attack. I, I'm staying behind. After all, we need to find someone to properly give tribute to Rohan. Alicia, you don't mean... And I have to report to Lady Lake about what happened in Marland. Things with the Council have just settled down, but... and if you're with me, you'll just get wrapped up in it again. I would love to continue our travels. But I need you! Well... Also because I need a fourth person. In order to have a third person. Thank you so much, Alicia. But I understand. Same to you. For everything, Saray. <laughs> Get a room, you two. <laughs> it's not like you won't see each other again. I shall do my best to work toward a highland with no malevolence. I know you will. And I'll keep chasing my dream. See you around, Alicia. Safe travels. Y'all come back now, you hear? I hate your accent. And I hate your stupid helmet. Oh! Is that Edna's? Sick. Maybe it's better than that weird yellow she's wearing. Uh, eh. Nice. It's got that gothic style going on even harder now. Sure, why not? Let's go with the black. Now she can go around scaring small children. I'm sure it's one of her dreams. One of her many, many dreams. Uh-oh. I have a message. It's urgent. Hey, hang in there. The Empire. The Roland's Empire is attacking. Oh, hell. What? So the war has begun. It's like war has started a bit earlier than Please. I had anticipated. Pass the warning to the people of Marland. I have to get to the capital. You're injured. It's too dangerous. There's no time to waste. Can we heal him? Be careful. Don't do anything reckless. Nice. Thank you. We'd better go tell everyone. Sometimes, if you do things right, people don't all know right, you've done anything close. at all. Playtime's over! Let's go show those frou-frous in the capital what we're made of. Yeah! Wait, what are we doing? I'm going. Yeah, I couldn't live with myself if we let these folks just run out to get slaughtered. You mustn't! If the shepherd enters the heart of battle, the camp he extends his help to will surely be victorious. So what, we just sit quietly and watch? Yep. It's up to the Earth Dwellers to figure out some sort of compromise with each other. But with the Shepherd's power, I know I could save people. You might save the people of Highland, yes. However... The people of Rolands wouldn't be so lucky is the flip side. Correct. That's the nature of war. 
War knows neither justice nor malice. The power of the Shepherd greatly shapes the world itself. Were you to enter the war, there's no telling how warped it could become. All right. I do want Lucas and his group to take refuge along with the villagers. Will that be okay? Yes. Then let's talk to Lucas at once. They sounded like they were getting ready to leave any second now. Okay. Uh, yeah, war is not exactly an easy thing for you to pick a side in. You tip the scale to help one side, you just end up dooming the other. Hey, how are you? Lucas, I'd really like you to seek refuge along with the villagers. Like hell! The battlefield is where we earn our living. Besides, we just helped rebuild your town here, no? You really want to see Roland's tear it to pieces? I'm just worried about all of you. Hmm. Please. Fine. We'll pull back beyond the Grifflet River. It's a damn shame. We're just gonna abandon this town right when it was getting its punch back? We both know what's really important. Hmm. I can tell I'm no match for this herder of sheep. Change of plans, you bums! We're taking the townsfolk to safety, up north across the Grifflet River. Get your preparations in order! Thank you. A town can be rebuilt. You'd better get ready yourself. A land resettled. The bridge still isn't fully restored just yet. We'll probably Life. have to go ahead and set up camp by the riverbanks. Life is once in a you lifetime. Got it. Take it easy, we'll friend. On our end. What say you, Shepard? Ready to head for the river? Hold that thought. Uh, 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 first things first. Ooh. Hello, friend. Sparkling stones lying around deep inside the Boros ruins. If they're worth anything, though. A shiny, pretty stone. It does make me curious. It might be some sort of artifact. Saray, don't forget about the library key. Oh, right. I need to return it to Naif. Oh, yeah. Hey, Naif. I got a thing for you. Well, I came to return this. It's from Agatha. The key to the library. Thanks, and sorry to trouble you. No problem, buddy. When I grow up, I'm gonna be like Maltran. I'm gonna be the second blue Valkyrie. You can't be a Valkyrie, kid. Oh, you can't be Valkyrie, Thank you. Dummy. If Maltran's teaching anyone, it's gonna be me. I mean, you can be something equally as awesome. I'm not gonna teach you. Your clothes aren't even blue. They will be once I finally get my mom to buy some. Someone's popular. It's because Lady Maltran actually comes from Marland. Oh, fantastic. She only became heir to her line when all the other successors passed away. And while her sense of responsibility was second to none, she was quite a frail young girl. She has trained herself very rigorously. That's and admirable. She is the Blue Valkyrie. So they're opposites. What? Nothing. He just clarified something for me. Oh, <laughs> I don't really get it, but I'm glad I could be of help to the shepherd. I have one more thing. You've I always been ask. a help, Nath. Have you heard of Irish gems? Irish gems? We have one. Oh, fantastic! I just enshrined it in the sanctuary as an offering for the town's restoration. Can we borrow it? There's something we're investigating. I wouldn't dream of refusing the shepherd's request. Please keep it as long as you like. Thank you. Hopefully we'll get the chance to return it to you eventually. But thank you. Thank you, friend. Uh, so many side quests to do. Pick up an iris gem, go check out the Borse ruins. I got so much stuff to do. I gotta remember to keep my eyes open before I move on with anything anymore. I'm really bad at that. But I'll get better. Maybe. Norman! What up, you chill mofo? Let's see, what are you again? Your Rhesus? Art defense, eh? Let's put you on... Let's 
Let's put you on the thorny vest. Get to work. Thanks, buddy. Ah, uh, there it is. Gimme. Eins. Whoa. Dude. It's a dude. Did someone put him in charge or something. Miklio, what do you think it means? The king was handing a sword over. Pretty clear that it was some formal military ceremony. And I imagine the person receiving the sword was a general. The uniform Makes would sense. suggest a general of the Roland's Empire. It's hard to say exactly when this took place, though. Whoever he was, he sure looked like a hero. But what does it mean? It's not like that's a particularly uncommon type of scene, historically speaking. If we could see more... I know, Shepard had one of those not long ago. ...as to why this scene showed up. Roughly a thousand years ago. Any more? I don't know, but let's try to find them. I mean, hidden glimpses of history? How cool is that? This would be the thing that gets your engine fired, wouldn't it? You're easy to read, bud. You're easy to read. Alright. Continue our sweep around town, then head over to Boris Ruins. Oh, look! More interesting things! Are all interesting things... Resonated by a big, a big blue dot. Noted. I super start to find some of those sparkling stones. Oh yeah, it's just talking about the sparkling stones at Boris. Got it. Um. Saray, when you said they're opposites. Boy, are you thick. Thick, Leo. Hey, I was gonna say you meant her and Alicia, if you'd let me finish. Forget it. The moment is over. Mickley over. <laughs> How did my life get to this point? It's not about the greatest of fortunes. Each other. Just... They've been striving for the same goal, even though their motivations and circumstances are different. Right. Alicia chose to carry out her duty as royalty, even though it hasn't been going as well as she'd hoped. While Maltran never wanted to be a knight. But nevertheless, she's achieved great deeds, and earned the respect of the people. In each case, things haven't gone entirely as planned. Perhaps both of them feel that way. Shouldn't we tell Saray and the others about how useful the Lords of the Land are? If you keep babying them instead of letting them think for themselves, they're just gonna turn into, well, babies. But then again, they do need to know things like how the affected area is predetermined and how boons increase as you engage in more battles. And also how, if there's a skill you want, you could ask a Norman to increase the enemy drop rate. And not to mention how, as you acquire more boons, the amount of boons you can make effective increases as well. I feel as other... If they knew that much, it'd be plenty. I just want to make sure that, if they wind up in an area with no boons, they know to focus first on restoring the Lord of the Land's blessing to the area. Even if you don't have confidence I feel as other talking to abilities, me. Common sense is common sense, no matter how you cut it. Huh. Interesting. Did you eavesdrop on our conversation? What, is that a crime? I mean, you're just standing there, talking to nobody. I figured somebody should listen to you. It's important information. It's not like we have some... semi-omniscient viewer of all things dictating our will. Jeez. Nothing? No? Unfortunate. Alright, let's go find the shiny stone over in Boris then, because I don't think I got any more people talking. With luck, these shiny stones will prove to be... interesting. And if not interesting, at least, you know, worth money. 
glorious, glorious money. I'm not gonna lie. If greed builds malevolence, then I am one malevolent motherfucker. And yes, I occasionally just mumble to cover up swears. Not for any real reason, just because... I do. Oh, Brock. Gimme! Gimme my sparkly stone! What's Irish gem? Sick! Fight a red iris gem. Yay, happy. This can only end badly for everybody involved. Was the author of the Celestial Record a village chief? It looked like he was founding a village or something. Hey, Miglio, I was wondering, you don't suppose he was a shepherd? If the shepherd was the one who wrote the Celestial Record, a lot of things start to make sense, and... Hmm. Miglio? Oh, um, sorry. What did you just say? How are you spacing Whoa. out, bud? I've never seen you space out like that. You feeling okay? Oh no, poor sick Leo. Nice. <laughs> Not nice. No. Just imagine Edna holding no. up her hand, waiting for a high five Can on you that sit one. Down for a bit. I'm fine. I just got caught up in my thoughts. For some reason. Oh, do it. Yes. Danger is my middle name. Which is probably a bad thing, given that we're only two people at this point. Ow. But I will not be dissuaded. You can't just swing your sword around and win. I didn't just swing my sword around. I swung your fists around. It proved to be greatly effective. Which is strange. Oh wait, no, I suppose I'm, I'm a rock fighting type. So if I just use rock moves, then flying types will go down easy. I'm speaking in Pokemon now. Hope that wasn't too confusing. I'm not missing anything else in the area. Got any notices? Was there a key? Okay, so in theory, there should be icons on my map that tell me of primary things I need to look into. The main episode, we got Irish Jeb episodes and sub episodes. In practice, that doesn't always help. Because they're not always labeled on my my overall map. But that's fine. I'll figure things out. Slowly, one by one. And with great patience and care. Anything else I can do here while I'm waiting? Anything I can offer you? Perhaps a beverage? Maybe some pound cake? I know the last Lord of the Land loved pound cake. You just have all my snacks. You know what? Go nuts, buddy. Oh, I can have my spears, too, because I don't need them anymore. Sick. Nobody uses these except for Alicia, and she's gone now. Meanie. 
Sanctification and healing air. Ha ha! Success! Can I remove Norman? I can dismiss Norman. Perfect. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I can move them around if need be. Alright, save one more time, and I think we will engage the next main event in the next episode. <sighs> Things are getting dicey. The war's heading our way, and we gotta get people out of town. Stat! And by stat, I mean as soon as I get to the next episode. So, I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. And if you are, as always, like, comment, subscribe. And if you got some friends who might want to come along for the ride, get them in the back of the truck. We'll give them a share. It'll be great fun. It'll be great. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut the being weirdness. Um, all right. I'll save this town next time. Till then, you all have just a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Later. <laughs>